Hello guys, it's Did It Zero again. I've got some more tutorials. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be on DX Tori, specifically DX Tori 2.0.111. Uh, some background information before we get started. DX Tori is a video capture software. It'll capture DirectX and OpenGL videos. It's similar to Fraps, MSI Afterburner, and XSplit. If you guys have ever heard of those, this program does similar things. Um, I've never used XSplit or MSI Afterburner, but I have used Fraps. And this has a lot more functionality than Fraps, in my opinion. And let's get started. Up here you have the profile page. Uh, it'll load all your games once you like open a program open a game it'll give you a profile on that you can customize that profile you can leave it as default or you can select a default profile for all of them next is your target information panel button whatever uh, this will show you what game you're hooked into its frame rates uh, the size of the window like if you're playing in window mode it'll show you the size of the window it'll be like 1080p 7 20 or some custom it'll show all that it'll show um, I forgot what else it shows but it shows a lot of information here um, it's not really useful if you're just getting started but later on it becomes more useful this is the overlay it's just like regular overlay on fraps or MSI afterburner it shows you a number it shows you if you're recording or not all the I left all these uh, settings at default except for the color. I changed the color to a dark red since I'm used to that. Green for not recording, red for recording. Uh, the good thing about DX Tori is it'll also show you what frame rate you're playing at at the same time as what frame rate you're recording at. I know in Fraps it will either do one or the other. You'll either play at a certain frame rate and it'll show you playing at that, or you record and it'll show you recording at that, which gets on my nerves a little bit. Next is the uh, video folder. This is where you pick where you want it to save. Uh, I have mine saved to the E drive. You search through here, pick every, whichever one you want. Uh, you can have multiple. You can have multiple hard drives, two, three, four hard drives. And DX Tori will actually split up the data so that, like, if you have a couple of slow hard drives, It'll split half the data up on the one drive and half the data up on the other. So it'll be like going, uh, like every other frame will go to a different drive. Which helps a lot if you have a slow hard drives or you only have one hard drive. If you have like multiple, it has less of a CPU hit. It doesn't have to compress or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you can select multiple folders in multiple drives and everything. I've got mine set into a, oh yeah, uh, another thing you need to know, if you're going to record a lot, get a dedicated hard drive just for recording. Get a, a SATA hard drive, 7200 RPM, uh, Western Digital Black or Seagate Barracudas are good. Uh, this is the benchmark. You run this, this will tell you how fast you can actually record data to your hard drive. I get about a hundred and some megabytes a second, which is good for 1080 and 1080p. Uh, you need at least about 70 megabytes per second for 720. But if you have about that, you should be able to find 720 at 30 frames per second. You should be fine at uh, 70 megabytes per second. Uh, the more megabytes per second you have, the faster it will write the data to the drive and the less frame rate issues you will have. And next we'll go to the hotkey settings. This is the hotkey settings menu action bar. You can set stop capture, um, screen save, display, toggles, uh, that kind of stuff. Next we'll go to the actual video settings pane. Pane? Plane? I don't know. Uh, this is your video codex. It has several. You have the default DX Tour. You have Intel, Microsoft, all kinds of different ones I've never even heard of. A couple of these I've not even seen before. I just leave it on the de de default DX Tour. I've tried them all. They're about the same quality. 
but some of them you have to actually have to switch, set the quality, set the keyframes, uh, that kind of stuff. If you guys are recording to YouTube for YouTube videos, set the frame rates at 30 frames per second. YouTube will not play back more than 30 frames per second. And anything higher than 30 frames per second, it will not even show to the people that are watching. You can record at 60 or 120 with DX Story, but it's not really worth it because for 60, you have to double the amount of data, and for 120, you have to quadruple it. That's doubling the file size, doubling the speed of your hard drive needs to be just to record the same amount of data in the same time. Uh, next you have output, you have file output, which I've checked. I think that comes on default. And then you have file formats. You have AVI, which is uncompressed video. That's the same thing that Fraps runs. This one runs an updated version. Fraps uses an older version. That's why in Fraps you get the 3.5 gigabyte uh, limit and then it breaks up. Uh, the XTORI will keep recording. Uh, I've had videos go uh, 100 750 megabytes with the XTORI. It's very easy. Next, you have options, um, clipping, that stuff. I don't bother with it. Uh, clipping, it's you can like cut up a piece of your screen, so you only show a part of it. You click on that. You set the width and the height and top, bottom, middle, right, that kind of stuff. I don't use it since I record the whole screen. Next you have scaling. This is important if you want to play in a certain uh, frame, or not frame, but aspect ratio. So if I want to play in 1080 because it gives me a wider range, more pixels, all that kind of stuff. But my internet is not very fast, so I only upload videos in 720p, which saves a lot of internet, saves hard drive space and yeah that so stay away from the percentage on there because it'll get screwy if you like play on different sizes or you have windowed mode open or anything and stick to size because you can set a specific size that you want to record at and it will always record video in that size it might have to uh, downscale it or upscale it but if you stick the same aspect ratio see I have it recording in 720 if you stick with like a 1080 which is what I use but I don't know what the other aspect ratios that go with that but you need like a 19 by 10 I don't know I have to look that up I'll put an annotation here in just a second uh, next is where DX Tory really shines against its competitors it can and this is the audio settings with DX Tory you can record different streams of audio and multiple streams at the same time this means you can record one mic two mics 100 mics I don't know about a hundred but you can record a lot you can also record in-game sound sound through your headphones if you had a separate like if you have a USB headphone you can record in-game sound and sound through your headphones differently you can record with a little fiddling in another program called a virtual audio cable you can also split up different sounds uh, all kinds of stuff and the reason why this is good is when you get done recording and you record it two or three hours of content and you go to like edit it and then you realize that your mic has been on half volume the whole time and you've recorded it and you only have one stream of audio you've got your game audio or your music and your mic at the same audio. You know what this means? You can't edit it separately. So with the XTORI, you can edit your in-game sound separately from your microphone sound. This means like if your in-game sound was ear blastingly loud, you can actually recruit reduce the volume on that, increase the volume on your microphone a bit, and it sounds good. You don't have like people whispering like this or raw, 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 like that well that probably wasn't loud but whatever but you get my point have you ever seen a video where somebody's you can barely hear you can barely hear them over the music or 
over the explosions or anything like that. Uh, you can set the audio codec, uh, speakers, microphone, audio codec, depending on what kind of hardware you get. You might want to pick a different codec, but most people use a uh, PCM. Uh, that's what most Windows comes with. Most motherboards come with a default that'll use that. And you want to set your bitrate to something. I don't know. But here's the advanced tab and the screenshot tab. I'll go. It doesn't really matter about those two. Here's the global settings tab. Just leave these a default. And here's the information tab. If you have an error, DXTory cannot find the game. If your game crashes while you're recording, if DXTory crashes while you're recording, it'll log the information here. Uh, look through it. See if you can spot anything. If you can't, go to the DXTory website and post about it. Uh, if you post, they might be able to fix it for future versions, which would be awesome for everyone. Uh... Thank you guys for watching. This has been Did It Zero. Like, subscribe, comment. If you need some help, leave a comment. I'll read it. I'll see you guys later. Out.